What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. I'm making a quick add-on video to my 1.18 server setup series. As for a lot of people updating from previous versions, you will be a bit confused when you come across a Java error talking about something, it was created in a newer version, you need an update, etc, etc. Since Minecraft 1.16 or 17, they've updated the Java that you need from Java 8 all the way up to Java 16 or 17. In this video, I'll show you how to download and install the latest Java version so that you can get your server working properly and a couple of steps if you still have issues firing up your Minecraft server. In the description down below, you'll find a link to oracle.com. These are the people who created Java. When you click this link, you'll see a page that looks like this. It should have the latest version of Java available at the very top of this page. What you need to do is select a Windows here and you can download either the installer or the MSI installer. I'll be downloading the normal installer here. Click on it to open it up when it's done. And from here, it's just a normal Java install. So next, next, wait for it to complete and close. Congratulations, you've now updated Java and you should be able to fire up your server assuming things don't go wrong. However, in my case, they did. And for you, if they did, for any unfortunate reason, here's a couple of tips to get you going in the right direction. First of all, your computer needs to know where Java is located. So this means that if you have other versions of Java installed, it could be pointing to the wrong place. In my case, uninstalling older versions of Java didn't work properly, though this could be something that works for you. I had the Android development kit installed and that had an outdated version of Java in it and that's what Windows was pointing to whenever I asked it for Java. You can open up the control panel or of course the new Windows settings and simply head across to either apps or uninstall programs and features. Inside of here, you'll be searching for Java and you'll simply be uninstalling all versions of Java other than the brand new one that we just installed. Then try and launch up your server and make sure that things are working properly. If worst comes to worst and it's still not working properly, even though you know for a fact that you have the latest version installed, we need to find where else your computer is pointing to. There's a couple of simple ways of doing this. Hold start, press R to bring up this dialog box here, type CMD, enter, and inside of here, type Java space hyphen hyphen version. When you hit enter, you'll see the version that your computer is pointing to whenever a program asks for Java. In my case, it's 17, so it's working properly. Though for you, this could be 16, 15, or any other old outdated version. If you see this and you only see the latest version of Java in your control panel, it means that Windows is pointing to the wrong version of Java. There's a couple of ways to fix this, though my favorite is using a program called Everything. Basically, it's a really fast search program for your computer. You can either open up a file browser, head into C and search for Java, or you can use this program called Everything. Simply searching for java.exe, we see a bunch of results here. These are all different versions of Java installed on my computer, even though it only tells me that there's one, the one that I installed. In my case, I saw over here that I have the Android JDK installed. These are outdated versions of Java that my computer are pointing to. In this case, it's Java 8 and isn't really interfering with the program, but for some reason there was Java 15 or 16 here in one of these Android development kits, and I had to uninstall that Android development kit in order for the newest, latest Java to be detected and pointed to. So hopefully you won't have to go this far to get things working properly. Anyways, that's about it for this quick Java update tutorial. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.